Karens once again are taking over everything. And this time, I'm gonna touch a subject that to some people might be complete alien planet or whatever. So distant that they can't even really find anything of information in their noggin. And to some, well, it's the way they make money. And the subject is, well, Fendom. And Karens, well, they have stri <laughs> struck once again. And how, if y'all are asking, well, they are pushing themselves onto people. There's Fendoms, or the Dominatrixes, um, which, well, dominate subs and their subcategory is fin subs and fin subs are basically people who either have plenty of cash or well above average still and they completely well not really completely but nearly completely give control of their financial status and everything financial even give control over to the dominatrix and the dominatrix well dominates them and makes them do things and all that maybe buy stupid shit send them money uh and just other dom and all that stuff which already is kind of intertwined with bdsm and all that shit anyways and karens well what do they do they collect as much information about the sub as possible Sometimes subs are into that, you know, a little bit of creep and spy and all that shit. Well, the next thing, they start nice, they try to persuade. And what happens next is that they start blackmailing, they start pushing money. If that doesn't help, they make extra accounts and start pushing even more money. Then there's also stuck up bitches, which hosts Discord servers, of course, Fin subs who are really into this shit uh, go to those servers. Well, everything is nice. A community builds, other doms join. But there's this thing. The Karens who are in control of such servers sometimes are in groups. Or sometimes there's two. And so, or sometimes it's a pure alpha Karen in there of, well, financial dominatrixes. Um, what happens next? Well, in such servers, there's just complete toxicity ruling over the whole land, basically. As if Hiroshima happened ten times in the same spot in the span of, let's say, 15 minutes. And that mainly happens if they don't get what they want. Let's say a Finsub joins. And he's exceptionally wealthy. He or she has quite the bankroll and is willing to just kind of give it away. Well, the Karen, as the leader of the server or an admin or or just a Karen that recently joined, is going to be so manipulative that they're going to try their best to get that one. Sometimes two or sometimes all of them and ban dominatrixes, which don't really comply with such rules and there's even stupid verification phases that you sometimes have to do for these servers sometimes you have to show your id and a nude sometimes sometimes you have to make a payment not in all of those most of them well now it's kind of outruled but still have to reddit is also tends to be full of this shit uh, that people start complaining or coming clean, but mainly those are fin subs which have left this era, area. Um, and how does this count as anything relevant? Well, for most people, it's an actual kink, and it just somehow arouses people and all that. Personally, for me, I don't see it working <laughs> too well uh, especially for the fin subs they're into that shit and all that but like losing most of the cash and 
Uh, I, me, personally, I'm not really into that shit. Um, <clears throat> well, then there's other exceptions, as um, Karen's trying to make as much cash as possible by creating multiple accounts, invading servers, and having, let's say, similar pictures, more of the kinky style pictures, similar, let's say, changes up underwear or just a little piece in the background. So it seems a bit different. Maybe edits the photo, I adjust the skin tone a tiny bit, and that's it, changes the username. And bam, you have a new account, you have a new identity, and you have more pictures. Some of them are completely the same and people fall for it, which is completely fucking stupid. But it happens. And people who actually make a living like this, because that counts as an actual fucking profession, mind you. Uh, a dominatrix is an actual profession you can master. There's even courses, there's even exhibitions, there's even full-on shows and competitions but then again uh, not many people think of it much but that really differs from person to person and their kinks and all that anyways I'm a loss of words to all those people who actually have to endure all of this nonsense because many places, many countries, many companies, or even, let's say, PayPal itself, where most money transfers go through, um, don't really stand by this. They don't even think that this sort of shit is, a, let's say, um, a job, a hobby, or even anything you can make money out of. And they ban those accounts, too. And how Karens work. They sometimes even pose as fin subs. And what do they do? They send you money. Sometimes they just ask you for your PayPal.me. And they just send money as a confirmation. And what happens next? Well, they start complaining. They submit a refund uh, to PayPal and write some weird ass fucking message that could possibly take down your whole PayPal account and it has happened and it fucking works because PayPal still doesn't well see this as an actual um I'd say possible way of uh, making income and well what happens to these accounts they may mainly get restricted but if the person, well, Karen, decides to write something very malicious in there, or even possible trade of nudity and explicit content for money, and mention, God forbid, that the person selling such content is underaged, that's it. PayPal shuts down your account, they blacklist your bank account, they sometimes even message the authorities, and you have basically nearly every single person in authority having you, an eye on you, and they start going through uh, all the payments. And in some countries, PayPal counts as money laundering, so if something like this happens... You get fucked in the ass by the law by ma laundering money, which at first doesn't get really recognized because payments, well, they're like 10 to to $100 and not really that frequent, except to some professionals, which make up to a couple grand a month. But other than that, it doesn't get noticed. Like PayPal in most countries gets noticed as you sell something on eBay. It's directly linked to that for some fucking reason, especially in our country. But once it gets into a shadier thing like this, as most companies do think, and some governments and most authorities, um, they kind of despise this, even though it's kind of a kink. And most people there in the servers are in their 20s, 30s, 40s. 
and no one is really underage. Everyone underage gets permanently banned and removed and blacklisted and all that. So there's kind of a protection layer there, but still. Uh, there's these nasty people who like to ruin it, especially ruin the fun and the experience to those who do it as a, an actual job, as an actual income. And let's say, in my case, let's say I'd be doing that shit, right? I'd, I'd be making money to pay for electricity, to buy food, shit, to even pay for my internet and all that so I could upload videos here on YouTube. And someone just fucking ruins it and all my accounts get fucking blacklisted, my bank account gets permanently just blacklisted, I cannot even receive money through direct payments from abroad, only within our country and shit. And it, in this kind of situation, fin subs and shit mostly are abroad. Sometimes you tend to travel, which is paid for and all that, but such opportunities are rare. And what happens next is basically these people go bankrupt. They go on the streets and everything just because, let's say, some spoiled ass piece of shit decided that they need a bit more pocket money because their daddy and mommy didn't give that bitch, let's say, a $500, $500 for the week but gave her like a hundred or two hundred. So, shit, why not just steal from the others? You know, I, I am entitled to this money, but you're not basically. And it personally for me, I'm not too interested in this, <laughs> but still it irritates me a lot. Cause well, think about it this way. New jobs get created every day, and even because of this whole COVID bullshit, right? They get taken away. Income gets taken away. People are getting tossed on the street. Eviction notices. People don't have enough for food, or at least proper food to upkeep the family or just themselves. And they have to start cutting off on, let's say, other things like school supplies and all that shit. It's basically the same fucking situation but the virus is the karen the spoiled brat and other words that i want to say but i can't really because this video might be fucking removed and the only way to really fight against this is to well start noticing the these sorts of people early try to cut them out try to get them removed from the servers if <laughs> the owner of the server is such a person then just leave the fucking server get all the people to join a different server it might be difficult but you'll pull it off somehow i know all of y'all are smart and well you'll somehow manage since personally i'm not too experienced in this i can't just go ahead and host my own server in this shit well I could, you can mention it in the comments, and maybe I can manage to pull that shit off, I don't know, um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about this, maybe if someone wants me to make a part 2 and add something to it, also mention it in the fucking comments, and I'll be glad, well, I'll be more than happy to actually make a video, so, yeah.